Head over to uh, one of our other reporters, uh, Mankwobo Unu, uh, joining us, but he is on the move at the moment. Uh, Mankwobo, let's come down to you as well. Just a few moments ago, I was watching off air. I, I think it was residents who were running in a certain direction. You were doing your best to follow them uh, as well. Where are you and where are those people going? What have you got for us? Well, Gareth, we're here at uh, the Bundu in Squatter Camp, which is uh, another informal settlement here in Mutlakeng that says they are fed up with the issue of illegal miners in this community. And as you can see, Gareth, just a short while ago, we saw a large group of uh, protesters that had been uh, coming from that meeting with uh, police where they were being addressed by uh, the district commissioner here in the West Rand, uh, calling, of course, for calm and calling for residents to allow police uh, to do their job. But uh, as soon as this crowd arrived here, I can tell you, Gareth, that uh, they then started going to some of the shacks that... Uh, are believed to be housing illegal miners here in this particular community and we're told that uh, they actually spotted one of them running and making his way into the bushes and so these community members are now here, Gareth. Uh, they are chasing that uh, illegal uh, or so-called or alleged uh, Zamazama here and right now it's just community members running and chasing and hoping to find illegal miners here. Of course, as you can see, Gareth, the situation is still quite tense here at this particular informal settlement. The residents are saying that they are not going to stop up until they apprehend those illegal miners themselves. You can still see there, Gareth, they are just running and following that direction where they believe that this illegal miner had gone. And earlier on, we did see them apprehending uh, one man who was believed to be an illegal miner here in this uh, uh, particular settlement, and they were manhandling him a bit, just asking uh, him to show them, uh, you know, where the other uh, Zamazamas are. So it's still quite tense here, Gareth, mm, and mm. community members are still insisting that they are going to uh, hunt these Zamazamas, they are going to apprehend them and uh, take them to police because... They say that, you know, they've heard from police, they've been listening to what police are saying, but they're not really telling them what they're going to do now uh, when it comes to the issue of illegal mining. They want action now. They want to see boots on the ground now. So they're not satisfied at all with the answers that have been given by police. And of course, you recall, Garrett, that on Friday there was a meeting between police as well as uh, some of the community leaders, some of them even from here in Musakeng, where they had discussed these issues, where they had asked the police about their plan and what it is that they want to do when it comes to illegal mining, because these communities say they are sick and tired of illegal mining in this area. They are accusing these Zamazamas of heinous crimes in this community. They're saying that they are behind some of the murders here. They're behind some of the rapes that occur in this particular community. So they have been hoping that uh, they will see more boots on the ground. But of course, they're saying that even now, police are not here on the ground. They are not visible here to deal with the issue of illegal mining. And so these residents are saying that they're going to take the law into their own hands, which is what we are seeing here. It is getting a bit dangerous, Gareth, I can tell you. Uh, they're going deep into the bushes and uh, we cannot go there because uh, we do not you know, know what is going to happen there. But we know that some of these Zamazamas are armed. They are carrying rifles. And uh, earlier on, we also heard reports that there were you know, uh, f uh, some shots that were fired uh, here in this particular area. We're not sure who was firing those shots. But uh, I can tell you, Gareth, that as far as you know, the situation here, we again are not seeing any police here at this particular point. But we do understand that there are police on the ground who are, uh, you know, looking at the situation or trying to bring some sort of order and stability. But I can tell you that it's different areas. Mm -hmm. This is another mm -hmm. area of Mushakeng. The police are far from where we are. And what is happening now is that uh, literally, Gareth, these miners, or sorry, these residents are going on a hunt looking for these 
illegal miners. Yeah, we saw them as we were coming to you, running off uh, into the bushes, into the distance as well. Many of them uh, are trying to get over that little ridge or that little gully that's just over your right-hand shoulder, uh, running through that, uh, continuing their pursuit of what they believe uh, is an alleged illegal miner. So in the same area for us in Makhlukeng this afternoon, Mankwaba uh, Unu for us, also Maloka Malota, our team are on the ground along with our entire ENCA crew. We're continuing to stay with the police wherever they might be as we continue to bring you the very latest from with inside the communities as they, as they have said many, many times, are taking the law into their own hands. They are sick and tired of waiting for police to respond. And as you would have seen with Moloka Moloto, quite a lot of police there, but in the same area, not too far from him, uh, near Bundu Inn, uh, we've just heard from Mankwaba Nkhunu, uh, where he is near this Bundu Inn informal settlement. No police, as far as I could see on camera. Our teams will continue to stay with communities and bring you the very latest.